Hey what's going on you guys, I'm Flipbarts and today I wanted to talk to you guys about how to get more supply drops in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. There's tons of tweets and comments and videos out there now that are asking how to get more and there are lots of videos out there trying to explain how to get more of them but sometimes the information and the answers that you hear aren't exactly the right stuff. And for example, no hate on T. Martin if you're watching this video, but T. Martin did put out a video about how to earn supply drops faster in Advanced Warfare, and he kind of got shut down by Michael Condry, who told him that his video was not very accurate, but it was point for creativity. But I'll explain that later in the video, and uh, pretty much I hope this video will be able to give you guys a better understanding of how to get supply drops, what you might be doing wrong, and hopefully everything will be clear and maybe you can send this video to other people and post it up on other forums and stuff like that to help people get a better understanding of how to get supply jobs better and if there's something that you guys really don't understand still even after watching this video feel free to leave a comment down below and uh, I will be doing my best to reply to them as fast as I can and hopefully give you guys the best information that I can possible. I've done a lot of research on this, so hopefully the things that I'm telling you is right because I've been asking a lot of people about their end of the spectrum of what they've been doing and how they've been getting their supply drops and how I've been doing it and watching other people's videos and I found my final conclusion so hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this video. So there are three ways you can earn supply drops in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. You can play the campaign mode, you can play survival mode, or you can play multiplayer mode which is probably the most popular way obviously to get as much as you can and in this video I will be solely pretty much talking only about multiplayer mode because campaign mode and survival mode is a little bit straightforward so if you've been playing campaign mode and survival mode you'll know you'll just get one for doing certain things in campaign mode and survival mode but in multiplayer I think that's why everyone's here so we're gonna go straight into it and explain everything you guys need to know about how to get more supply drops so how do you get a supply drop in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare's multiplayer you just play multiplayer that's right you don't have to do anything crazy you don't have to go kill yourself or be first blooded on the other team when you start up a game on multiplayer mode it's none of that it's actually you literally just have to play and eventually your time will come and it'll pay out and it will give you your supply drops so you don't have to have first blood you don't have to be first blooded you don't have to be at the end of the game having the most kills or the most deaths having juke someone you don't have to have the highest score streak or the lowest score streak or anything like that you just play multiplayer as you normally would and you would get a supply drop at one point or another from everyone that I've asked it's always taken about at least 45 minutes to an hour and I was actually lucky the other day I came home from work and I decided to play Call of Duty popped in the game and for whatever reason I only literally played my first game and you guys are gonna see on screen I played my first game and literally a couple minutes in I got my first supply drop which was kind of crazy this was around 10 28 p.m. And then about an hour later, 11.35ish, you know, a little bit over an hour, not that big of a deal, I got another supply drop. So, it literally takes about a little less or a little more than an hour to get a supply drop right after getting your initial one. Alright, so believe it or not, there are actually three ways you can earn supply drops in Advanced Warfare. That's right, there are three ways. The first two are very common and everyone knows about it because those are usually the only ways you can earn them. And then the last way, the third way, is actually kind of weird and I kind of stumbled upon it by accident. And I'll explain that when we get there. So, the first one you're going to be seeing on screen here is you can earn one by getting killed or by death. It doesn't have to be first blood even though it's probably the most popular right now because a lot of videos are saying you want to get first blooded at the start of a game, get a lot of attention and you will get killed and you will receive a supply drop. As much as that does help people and a lot of people have been earning it that way, it's not exactly the correct way but getting killed is a way to get a supply drop in Advanced Warfare. The second way is to kill someone, so it doesn't have to be the first blood kill, it could just be on a streak, you could kill 5 people and then on your 6th kill you could get one. And I'm not saying you need to get 5 in a row and your 6th kill will always give you one, I'm saying that killing someone will give you a supply drop. Now the last way is actually kinda weird, you don't have to do anything. That's right, as you guys can see on screen here, I actually have two supply drops before I end up going into this game here, but then I had to go and help my parents upstairs and move something to another part of the room, and when I came back, I was kicked out for inactivity. But above my new items, and in the above create a class and stuff like that, I now have three supply drops, which is kind of weird because I did have two, 
and now I have three. So I got kicked out of a game, but I still got a supply drop. So the third way, I don't exactly know what to call it. I'm just going to call it as idle. I was just staying on the class screen to pick for multiplayer mode before I could jump into the actual game and start killing people or dying to people. And I got one when I got kicked out. So I don't know at what point in time that I was supposed to earn one, but I got kicked out and I ended up earning one anyway. So those are the three ways you can actually earn supply drops in Advanced Warfare. So now the question is, how do you earn supply drops faster in Advanced Warfare? So I'm going to show you some tweets that were between T. Martin and Michael Condry and there were confirmed information about how to get supply drops and how to get them faster. So T. Martin put up a video about how to earn supply drops faster in Advanced Warfare where you basically wanted to get first blooded and that's the fastest way to get more supply drops in Advanced Warfare, but Michael Condry actually denied him and said, actually no, there is zero code connection of being first blood and getting loot, but points for creativity. And then another person asked, okay, but how about some clarification on the big subject here, Mike? And he replied with, we roll your time to loot in match minutes for each drop. Drop happens on player action like K, kill, or D, death. Rapid supply minutes count two times. So what this means, like I mentioned earlier, there's a certain amount of time until you can earn your next supply drop. So like I was saying before, it could be lucky and you could get one in 5 minutes, or it might be the standard time of about an hour, or 45 minutes, or maybe a bit more than an hour, like maybe 5 or 10 minutes after an hour. Shortly after that, someone tweets, so how do we get supply drops faster then? Michael Condry replies with rapid supply via codes or reinforcement drops. A few days later, someone tweets at him and says, so what does rapid supply time do? And he replies with increases the rate at which you earn loot. It's the equivalent of two times experience for supply drop timing. So what this could possibly mean is that the amount of loot that you would earn using rapid supply is basically doubled instead of waiting let's say the hour for one supply drop. In the 10 minutes of rapid supply you could earn about one or two in 10 minutes than you would in waiting for one hour just for that one supply drop. So now I know a lot of you still might be wondering well how come I still can't earn any supply drops I've played for so long and I haven't gotten any how come I'm not getting any more? Well, there are many reasons for that, and if I don't mention any of them here, then leave those comments down below and I'll do my best to reply to them to you, and hopefully that the answer I give you will be a good one and you'll be able to explain why you're not getting one. So a reason why you might not be able to be earning supply drops is because you already have some. You can only have three on you at all times for multiplayer mode, and if you have three on you, you can't earn any more. That was an issue that I had because I thought I could hoard more, I thought I could have four or five or ten on me all at once, but you actually can't do that. You can only hold on to three. So if you have three on you and you're thinking you can get a fourth one and a fifth one and maybe be playing for seven hours, that's seven supply drops that you've pretty much lost by not opening up your previous three. So to get more supply drops, as soon as you get one, you want to open it up immediately or maybe hoard them until you get about three of them and then open them all together and then start playing again and get some more. So keep in mind, like I mentioned, you can only have three at a time. That's a big reason why a lot of people actually don't get supply drops is because they don't realize that they've already had three taken up in their max slot for supply drops and they're hoping to get more, but you can't exceed three. If you had the Atlas Limited Edition or Atlas Pro Limited Edition, they give you five supply drops right off the start. And for me, I had five, so that was a big issue for me because I thought I could have more than three and I was wondering why I wasn't earning any more supply drops after that. So to recap real quick about everything in this video, there are three ways you can earn loot in this game, which is playing campaign mode, survival mode, multiplayer mode, and there are three ways you can earn loot in multiplayer mode, which is to kill someone, to be killed by someone, or being idle. Please keep in mind that being idle might not be a real way and it could have been many other reasons of why I earned a loot that way. It could have been the person that I was spectating while on the class screen was killing someone and it acted as if it was me and I got a loot or maybe when they died it acted as if it was me and I got a loot for that. Or maybe it was time for the payout of amount of time that I've been playing and they paid out and gave me a loot anyway while I was inactive and got kicked out. There are many other reasons why I could have got that. So keep in mind, idle might not be a official third way, but there's that. You can earn supply drops on multiplayer mode and you can only hold on to three of them. So if you're holding three of them and you haven't opened them and you're trying to get a fourth one, you're not going to get one. You want to redeem one 
or all of them and then you can earn more after that rapid supply is something that you would want if you want to get more supply drops quicker when you get a rapid supply you want to use it wisely because depending on the amount of time they give you from 10 minutes to 15 to 30 to 60 minutes or however much they give you you want to use it wisely and keep playing opening up your supply drops and continue playing opening them up and stuff like that so that's pretty much the end of this video i hope this video helped you out if it didn't or if there's anything you guys are so a little bit iffy about feel free to leave a comment down below and let me know what it is and i will get back to you as soon as i can with an answer and hopefully you'll be able to start earning more supply drops faster and being happy like everybody else that's earning supply drops now and thank you guys so much for watching i know this video was really long i was trying to make it as short as i could but there was just so much information and i didn't want to break it up into several different parts because that would just be annoying so one video should suffice and again i'm sorry that it was long but i hope you guys learned something i hope you guys enjoy and i hope this really does help you out and if it did and if it does please hit the like button down below because that would be great put this video on a forum or something or send it to your friends send it to everyone you know that might be struggling and hopefully we can help everyone out and everyone will be able to earn lots and lots of elite stuff and awesome supply drops and see a lot more videos coming out of people opening su their supply drops and having awesome reactions and things like that. But anyways, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry the video is really long. If you guys enjoyed the video and it helped you out, please hit the like button down below. If you guys have any comments, leave them down in the comment section down below. If you're new, subscribe. Thank you guys so much. I will see you guys next time. Later days. And peace out.